today we are going to discuss momentum and this topic is important in Cambridge IB, ATEXL, AQA, IGCSC and O level and I will try to cover all these examination boards. Momentum. By definition we can say momentum equal mass time velocity so momentum is the product of mass and velocity so from definition we can get the unit mass is in kilogram and velocity is meter per second or we can also say that the unit is newton second later we will discuss why we are saying this in newton second we can write it we can convert this to this or this to this one here second thing definition momentum is a vector quantity now whenever in physics we are discussing any vector quantity so the direction is very important for us whenever the object is suppose if the object is moving towards right we can consider that one is positive and if the object is moving towards left we can consider that is negative similarly for up you can consider uh, positive and down we consider negative so momentum is a vector quantity has direction rightward positive leftward negative next very basic question we can do here with the help of this that if the mass of the object is suppose if we have the car the car the car mass is 1000 kilogram and if the car is moving with the uh, velocity of 5 meter per second so we can find the mass time velocity 5 times 1000 we can find the value of momentum in that one now after this we are moving towards very important equation now the first thing that's very important in Cambridge IB it excel or AQA the definition of force so many students they are wrong here in definition the reason for that one is they are using the post sharp pull or something like that they define that one even we have some questions also so whenever you are defining the force so the force is the rate of change of momentum If examiner asks you to define force, so the force is the rate of change of momentum. Force equal rate of change of momentum. So if we are going to write mathematically, we can write it as F equal change in momentum over time. That we call rate of change of momentum. Now from this equation, as we know that always if we have the change in velocity, we can write it as final minus initial velocity now here we have the change in momentum so we can write it as pf final minus f, f is for final and i is for initial so we can write it as f equal final minus initial divide time taken for that by definition of momentum as we know that the momentum is mv when this is final momentum we can write it as m into vf or just v you can write because <clears throat> v is the final and initial we can write it as mu so it's mean f equal 
एम वी माइनस एम यू डिवाइड टी दैट इक्वल एफ इक्वल इफ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक एम कॉमन सो द इक्वेशन बिकम वी माइनस यू डिवाइड टी एंड वी नो दैट द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज चेंज इन वेलोसिटी ओवर टाइम सो वी माइनस यू ओवर टी सो ए इक्वल डेल वी बाय टी सो इट्स मीन मैस टाइम एक्सेलरेशन सो This is Newton's second law in terms of momentum. Very important equation for us here. Now, here m is the mass of the object, a is the acceleration, and f is the force. Sometime examiner asks you an exam that write the statement of Newton's second law. <clears throat> so many students again they are wrong in that one. So please make sure that. you are not going to say that the force is the product of mass and acceleration wrong so we can say that the force is proportional to the rate of change of momentum and basically the constant is 1 or k that we are not considering then we can consider f equal 1 del p or del t there's no need to mention here so then we can say the force is rate of change of momentum here so this is our statement of newton's second law two things very important for exam as i have mentioned before the definition of force be careful for that and the statement of newton's second law again i am repeating the definition of force is the rate of change of momentum and the statement of newton's second law is the force is proportional or directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum so these two definitions one statement and one definition is very important for us later i will discuss some more when we will discuss about impulse and other stuff and now the second thing that we are moving we are going to discuss here that one is conservation of momentum conservation of momentum as you know that always in physics conservation of mass conservation of energy conservation of charge so the conservation mean the things remain same the thing that doesn't change so here we can say the conservation of momentum means that the momentum before collision equal momentum after collision but one thing that's very important for this that one is for any isolated system for any isolated system isolated system means that no external force involved so we can say that when there is no external force the momentum before collision equal momentum after collision or we can say the momentum before collision equal momentum after collision for any isolated system when there is no external force but please make sure that whenever the conservation of momentum comes in exam the statement so you must write this or this with that one otherwise again your marks are going to be detected and exam for any isolated or when there is no external force suppose or we can also define this one that for any isolated system or we can write it as for 
any isolated system the total momentum of the system is conserved of the system doesn't change so it's up to you if you are going to define this way or this way now we are going toward the next step that one is the mathematics of this one where the so many students they are making the mistake and they are losing the marks suppose i am considering the two objects having mass m1 and m2 suppose the first m1 is moving with velocity u1 and the second one is moving with velocity u2 suppose we are considering both these two ones are moving towards right this is b4 collision after some time they collide suppose this is the interaction time and after that the m1 is moving with velocity v1 and m2 is moving with velocity v2 still their directions are same now we are going towards mathematics for this and this is after collision yeah now as we said that the conservation of momentum is the momentum before collision equal momentum after collision so this here if we can see this is our momentum before collision so as we know that the momentum is mass time velocity so there are two object one is the incident and one is the target object so we can write they both are traveling in same direction and as i said that the right direction we are considering positive so we can write the mathematical form for these one m1 u1 plus m2 u2 this is before collision momentum before now if we can see the momentum after collision so we can write it as for momentum after collision we can say m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and the total momentum equal we can say that the uh, if we are going to write the final equation for this one we can write it as momentum before equal momentum after so we can write it as m1 u1 plus m2 u2 before equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this is our mathematical equation for conservation of momentum now the things where the students they are confused in exam we are moving for that one if suppose the question is this that the uh, objects they are traveling in opposite direction towards each other like if suppose i'm going to give you the example here again we have the two objects same but this time they both are traveling towards each other like this we can say u1 u2 m1 m2 after collisions suppose this object is going this way and this object is going this way here v2 and v1 masses are same now which kind of the change comes in our mathematics as we know that our standard equation is as we have discussed before our standard equation for that situation is m1 u1 plus 
m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 for right direction now which kind of the change we are going to make in this one just you need to keep your eyes on the arrow that one is going left m1 u1 is right perfect still positive but this sign is going to be changed the reason for that one is this object is going towards left so minus m2 u2 equal now this object is again going to the left so minus m1 v1 and the 2 1 is going to the same m2 v2 so now when you are doing the question and if you are not going to change your signs so it means your entire question is wrong in exam so please make sure that vector is a uh, sorry the momentum is a vector quantity and we need to consider the direction whenever uh, we are finding the conservation or we are writing the conservation of momentum equation but for that you can keep this equation and your mind the standard equation based on that equation you can change your sign so this is much easier for us to change the sign <coughs> now after this i am going some more examples sometime uh, examiner gives us that like suppose if you have the two objects and they both are identical object in that one and they are traveling in opposite direction and after collisions suppose this is u1 and this is u2 and after collisions this one is going towards left and while this object is going towards right the thing that i have mentioned before that uh, this this time this is given to us the objects are identical same so whenever the identical are same so it means the masses are same so we can say that m1 equal m2 equal m so then again i am writing my equation always whenever i am starting it's better to write the standard equation and then accordingly you can change the signs and the things that you need in that suppose both the m's are same so m u1 but this one is going left so i'm going to change the sign minus m u2 equal again m but left minus m v1 plus m2 m into v2 so m is going to be constant uh, sorry common so u1 minus u2 equal minus m we can say that the uh, v1 minus v2 m cancel with that one if their velocities are given to us based on that we can find any unknown velocity in this one now the next question is that's important for us before going to start that that one is collisions collision is basically we call when two objects they are so close so they can interact with each other so that we call collisions when two objects they comes together so they can interact so that we call collision there are two types one we call elastic collision and the second type we call inelastic collision the difference between elastic and inelastic very important and always this question comes in exam the three things that you have in your mind you need to keep it in your mind the first one is total momentum second one is kinetic energy and third one is total energy so now i am moving towards elastic what is elastic collision 
So in case of elastic collision, we can say that all three things remain same before and after collisions. The total momentum, kinetic energy, and total energy remain same. Remain same. Nothing change in that. So that we call elastic collision. For inelastic collisions, the total momentum and total energy same. This factor is same and this factor is same. While the kinetic energy change into other form. Maybe heat and sound. So that we call inelastic collision. So the basic difference between elastic and inelastic is so everything, the total momentum, the kinetic energy, total energy remain same before and after. While in case of inelastic collisions, the total momentum and total energy remain same while the kinetic energy change. So that we call inelastic collision. Now, suppose I am going to do the question for another question I am doing. Suppose I have two objects. One is this. One object is this. They are moving towards each other. And after collisions, they both stick together. After collisions, they both stick together. And they both move with the same velocity v so the velocity of this one is v1 the velocity of this one is v2 and they are we are suppose considering they are identical means m1 equal m2 and that equal m but after collision they stick together whenever the sticky collisions come so it's mean that is an elastic one and the springy collisions we call elastic one we call another term you can use springy and sticky collision. So springy is elastic and sticky is inelastic. So now this is sticky collision. So now if suppose this is given to us, this is two meter per second. This one is moving with suppose one meter per second. Find their combined velocity after collision. So now standard equation. Always I said you need to write your standard equation. Conservation of momentum equation. I am saying standard to this. Okay. Now based on this you can the masses are same. So you can take m common u1 is 2 but this is going to the left so don't forget to change the sign of this that is minus 1 equal now the m1 is again m1 m2 they are identical they both are moving together so suppose we are considering later we, when we can find the value so we can uh, we can find the value for this one and we can say that which direction that one is going so suppose that is v so this term is 2mv equal m. So in this way, this cancel with this one. And we can find the value of v equal. You can say that the uh, 1 over 2. That equal 0 0.5 meter per second. So in this way, you can simplify your question. And so it's mean that they, they are moving towards right with the velocity of 0 0.5 meter per second. They both are moving together in that one. Now, after this, <clears throat> sometimes the questions come and you are going to find the momentum. Suppose your momentum before collision momentum before collision is equal to the momentum after collision so we are not sure 
is this collision is elastic or inelastic then the question is how we can check is the collision is elastic or inelastic there are basically two ways first one is by using conservation of conservation of kinetic energy by using conservation of kinetic energy means if the kinetic energy before equal kinetic energy after so we can say that this is elastic or if suppose your initial one suppose before collisions the kinetic energy before is greater than the kinetic energy after so we can say this is inelastic so one way is this this is elastic so this is one way to check that is your collision is elastic or inelastic suppose you are going to find here we have done the kinetic energy so if suppose you are going to find the kinetic energy uh, for this here that the for this system here suppose you are going this way before collisions mass m1 u1 u2 and after collisions still they are moving in same direction with velocity v1 and v2 mass m1 and m2 so then we have already discussed the conservation of momentum now i am writing the equation for kinetic energy so kinetic energy equal half before kinetic energy before collision equal half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square equal half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square so this is before and this is after now so many students and exam they are confused very technical mistake they are repeating here suppose i am changing the direction and i am considering that this object is going this way while after collision this one is moving this way so then what's the form of kinetic energy so please make sure that kinetic energy is a scalar so here we are not considering the direction whatever the direction is given to us if the direction is left or right always your kinetic energy equation should be same so no change in that one the change that comes that only comes for momentum so it's mean our this equation for any situation our this equation is same for that one that's important for us here that we need to keep it in mind for this topic and based on that you can check if your energy is before and after is same you can say that is the elastic and if they are not same and if your before collision is greater than the after collision so we can say that that one is inelastic so this is about conservation of kinetic energy in this one now we have one another very important concept that we can we can also use that to check that either our collision is elastic or inelastic that we call relative speed of approach equal relative speed of separation so many students and even the teachers they are confused about this one very easier first you need to consider object here the masses are not important for us for this if suppose this is moving with velocity u1 and this is moving with velocity u2 before and after that 
this is going with velocity v1 and this is going with velocity sorry the sizes are not same small change but sorry for that we can say v2 i'm not good in drawing okay now we can write the equation for this if you can see one thing is important for me if there is very long way to derive that equation, but I am going to use very short because that's not the requirement of IB or Edexcel or Cambridge. So that one is, we know that the collision is possible if U1 is greater than then the collision is possible. And after that, when they interact, so they exchange their velocities, we can say that then V2 is greater than V1. Based on that, I can write it as this equation, I can write it as u1 minus u2, so I can write it as u1 minus u2, when the u1 is greater than u2 equal v2 is greater, so we can write it as v2 minus v1. So this is important for us to keep it in mind. This is our again standard equation, I can say this one. Now if suppose Examiner has given you this situation that uh, this object before collision, this object is going this way, and this object is after collision, this object is going this way. So, which kind of the change comes in your equation? So, this is still right, u1 is right, but u2 is left. So, just you need to change that sign with this. So, it's mean now this is negative here. Then, same over here, v2 is still right, but v1 is towards left. So, this is negative here. So it means the change that comes in our equation, that one is u1 plus u2 equal v2 plus v1. So we can say for the this kind of, you can say direction, our equation is this one. So any equations come in exam, just write the standard. Based on that, you can change your sign and you can get the answer for that. Next, last, very important concept. That one is change in momentum. So many students, they are confused. And we, we have discussed the change in momentum is final minus initial momentum. Suppose we have racket here and we are suppose hitting to the ball. Suppose the ball is coming towards here with velocity u and mass m towards racket collide and after collisions the ball is moving with velocity v and mass is m this way now what's the equation so many students they think that the change in momentum is zero for that no you need to be very you can say that uh, careful about your equation final momentum now See that this is your final one. Left one is your final. So final momentum is mv while our initial momentum is mu. The difference is what? This is going left. This is negative and this is positive here. I'm going to write the value. So minus mv minus mu. So this is my change in momentum for this situation here. Now the problem, where the problem comes, where the suppose you have the wall here and always examiner will give you this kind of the question that the object is moving towards wall with velocity suppose V and mass M and after collisions the ball is going this way, still mass M, velocity is V. How much is the change in momentum and without thinking that the student they write zero, that's wrong. Again, use the same equation. So change in momentum equal final minus initial momentum. Now your final momentum is this one. Moving back one. So this is minus mv. Why minus? Because this is left. And this is mv because this is going right. So minus mv minus initial is mv. So we can write it as minus 2 mv and this negative sign basically shows the directions means that after collisions the ball is moving towards left side left direction so this we call 
change in momentum. 